flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and you're here listening to... Wait, wait, you know what? Today, I, I am the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. T teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja... Teenage Mutant... Pilot Turtle, <laughs> let's get it, motherfucker. But yeah, Flight Boss, bitches. The I'm the Archangel Uriel. You're now listening to the Mind and Terry's Moon, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. You know, for sure, flights. Air, <laughs> let's get it. And you know what I'm saying? I've been on the internet. You know, I'm 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 getting back juvial right now. I'm back hopping around and shit. You know, I'm saying I'm feeling good right now. So you know, uh, I've been on the uh, internet also. You know, I got a lot of people asking me about cusp. And you know, I didn't really feel the need to talk about it because I thought it was enough information on the internet or something like that. But I feel like um, when I went on the internet and searched and I typed in cusp, not a lot of information popped up. You know what I'm saying? I'm very disappointed on the internet right now. I'm very disappointed because it's like, it made me feel like now that, now, it's, now you are human. I'm not human. But this is the way I looked at it. I, I, look, I felt like from a energy through the internet perspective that the cusp are not people like the regular signs because I don't see the same energy being perceived with people who are cusp with the energy that people give so either we have a lot of lazy astrologers or if there's an energy going on within the internet realm that cusp people are not as important as regular science people. So I'm here to eradicate and break all blockages. I'm here for y'all. And y'all know, y'all already know how I come. I make things extra simple. Like so, and then this is another thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of astrologers may not really know how to correctly explain it. So before they even take the time to make videos about it, they feel like they have to develop more science and more knowledge on it from others and books and shit like that. But y'all already know, I'm the Archangel Uriel. I don't give a fuck about no book. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no... I I'm an energist. <laughs> Only thing I believe in is energy, frequency, and vibrations. And once you know that, we can all be on the same page and know everything. So I, I could break down a motherfucking cuss. If, it ain't, if ain't nobody else going to do it on the internet, that's what y'all got Archangel Uriel for. So I'm here. Let's get it. <laughs> and, all right. So before we even start, I know there's going to be a lot of astrologers out there that got y'all confused. Like, well, damn, what am I? A fire or a water sign? What am I? Earth or air sign? Like, do I look at both? And then, and then you start to feel like, man, now I have to listen to two different zodiac signs and waste my day just to come to the conclusion, and I'm still confused. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to make it very easy for you. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm here. Listen, you are your own element, and I'm, and I'm going to present the science to the world. How, if you're a cusp, cusp, a cusp sign, you're going to have your own separate. Just like you got, you got water signs. Fire signs, earth signs, air signs, as cusp. There's 12 astrological cusp signs, and there's four different cusp elements, and there's still three different modalities. So that's what I'm here, and I'm, that's what I'm here to create for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I am a fire sign, so I'm here to create on this earth. So now, let's get to it. Okay, water, fire. If you're a water, fire, cusp, you are, your element is steam. That's your element. Your element is steam. You're not a fire or you're not a fire sign. You're not a water sign. Although on practical terms, as a normal astrologer would tell you, you may play out each trait from here on there and there and down. But as a you are a combined of both of these, especially if you're a zero degree. Now before we even let's talk about cusp real quick. A cusp can only be a five degree orb because this five degree orb creates creates a scale now zero is actually a number in numerology now a five degree orb we have to include zero because if you in the zero degrees of a sign you are the initiation of that sign now zero degrees of a sign is a complete cusp and a complete blend of both signs that's next to each other. So, 28, I mean 29, 28 on this side is the is, is 2 degrees and 1 and 2 degrees on this side is 2 degrees. And that 0 degrees in between, the start of a sign, 
is the is the scale is the balance so if you a zero degrees of a sign you are a you are a balanced cusp between two elements you are a balanced cusp if you if you on the 29 28 side of things then you you are cusp balanced on a teeter scale of that sign so you're going to act out that sign with the blending of the other sign and if you are one and two degrees of this side of the balance of the five degree orb then you are you're going to act out the traits of that sign but it's going to be backed by the previous sign so you see how how if you was a if you was a aries pisces on this if you was a one or two degrees aries then you're going to act out aries with fueled by pisces traits if it's the other way around if you are 28 or 29 degrees pisces then you're going to act out Pisces traits with being backed by Aries energy. If you are zero degrees of a cusp, you these going to be a perfect blend. But my by no means necessary is is it any better than being 29, 28 or 1 or 2. What this this means being at zero is you sometimes you don't contradict or sometimes you're not confused. You just you just accept the blend. Pisces, sometimes you may be confused about this extra other energy, the Aries that's being pushed, but then you get with it. And then, and vice versa. Aries, you may be sometimes confused about this Pisces energy you get it, but you get with it. But they all the same thing. But each degree, just like if you if you are 17 degrees Leo and someone is a 5 degrees Leo, you're still very different Leos, but you're still Leo. That's the same with the 5 degree or cusp. So if you if you if you uh 2 degrees Aries and your best friend is a 28 degrees Pisces y'all actions may differ at times but y'all understand why y'all understand exactly why and y'all understand like damn we the same people we just do it in different ways so you know what I'm saying so now let's break into it now now that nah, is this L you know I had to go up catch some information I get I, I don't read books I, I meditate and do this and, and get my information like this. And then I got it. So look, now, water, fire. Water, fire is steam. You are steam. So if you're a water, fire, fire, water, however you want to mix it up, cusp, you are a steam. You're not a fire sign. You're not a water sign. You are a steam sign. Your element is steam. And, and the only way you can be a steam sign is if you are a Pisces, Aries cusp, Cancer Leo cusp or Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Boom. You are a steam sign. Now for as and I'm a I'ma do a video breaking down each sign. But as a whole, as a whole, steam, what does steam do? Steam is like warmth. You ever went into a steam room, feel good as hell, right? You ever uh you ever went to the pool, then took a shower after that? Feel good as fuck, right? You ever uh you ever uh boil your water, mix it, get a tea kettle or something, boil some coffee or something like that. Boom, it gets you right. It it cooks stuff, it boils stuff, it boils your noodles, it smooths things out. You know what I'm saying? So steam signs know how to smooth things out. When things get when chaotic situations become turbulent or something like that, they know how to smooth things out. What you do when you put hot dogs in a in a pot? What you do when you put ramen noodles in a pot? It boil that shit out and smooths it out. What you do when you put uh, mashed potatoes in a pot? It smooths it out. So they know how to smooth out situations. But they also know how to create chaotic situations. Because what happens when you keep stuff like cameras or, or stuff like electronics in like a very hot muggy room? You know what I'm saying? Like a, a muggy room. A steamy muggy room. It, it fucks shit up. So electronics and shit like that and air kind of deals with communication. So these people fuck up communications. They, they, it's, they, their communication is not logical. It's not left brain. Steam signs are completely yin brain. They're, they're the fillers. You know what I'm saying? They're fillers. And they're not rational. 